Mackay. My name's Leone Wood. I'm a visual artist from Mackay. How did I start making art? It was probably when I was a 16-year-old living in Melbourne when I was allowed to have the last year off school and attend RMIT. I sadly didn't stay at RMIT but it, it led me on the path of pursuing art the rest of my life. It really was decided for me because it was those early experiences at RMIT where I was first introduced to life drawing and I just had an affinity for it and it's something although my life has obviously gone through many changes um, I've always pursued it wherever I've been and wherever it's possible and I must admit I prefer the female form um, but you know, just life drawing in itself, it, it's such a beautiful thing to do. But you, I do feel for myself that it works best if, if I have a good uh, relationship with the model in as much as I, I'm, I feel really great about how that person is sitting, standing, doing whatever, posing. But the work is responds to how I feel about the model. I'm fairly renowned for approaching people in the street, um, which I think particularly now on this age nobody's too worried. But um, otherwise advertising, you know, I have a drawing group at home in Mackay, um, which is really just a group of people, about 15 people generally speaking, and it's untutored so I just provide the model and the hall and we all get there and draw. But, and I'll advertise for the models as well, you know, you, you just try. And once you get a good model, you really want to keep them, but you do want variety as well. Teach, or I have taught many times in the past. Um, I've done a series of workshops for the Regional Gallery in Mackay Art Space, uh, for the Art Society. Um, some of the things I've probably enjoyed most have been uh, during previous art festivals where it, it's been a little event so we may do um, a day of life drawing and then because my work is not purely visual art um, I've also done ceramic art, working on ceramics so that becomes incorporated and after the day of, of doing the life drawing, we provide a ceramic form and the participants are invited to try and resolve a design that they use their model on the pot in some way. I was extremely lucky to be married to um, Rick Wood, who uh, is a, a fairly well-renowned Queensland potter. But over time, we ended up combining our work in as much as he provided the canvas for me to work on. Uh, the first ones were bits of disaster, obviously, because I was worried I'd mess the pot up. But it just it overtook us. I did, I did, I constantly worked on ceramics, and I really miss doing that now. I did a little after he died, but. Um, you never know what opportunities come up and something actually was mentioned to me here in Townsville last night. So, you know, it might happen again in a way. Yes, well this is the only thing I can think of, apart from a dedicated space, which I really don't have at home now, um, and harking back to the days of working with Rick, um, when we worked obviously all day long in a big pottery shed with the heat boring down, air conditioning would have been great. But no, I don't hanker for anything in particular, except a good model, I guess. <laughs> the only thing that comes to mind when I'm asked what best advice have I been given um, is actually a few words from Townsville's own Ronald McBurney who um, ages ago, he had been out to 
the gallery that my husband and I then had, along with our workshops, and purchased things. But bumping into him many times, he would always say, oh, are you still drawing? You should be drawing. So it's just that. It's just keep at your work, really. More so about being themselves, not worrying about what anyone else is doing. Desperately want them to free up, because I want to free up. Uh, the style of drawing that I do, they're usually only 20 minute drawings at the most. I don't spend time labouring over it, it either works or it doesn't. So it's really delightful to see a beginner that is starting to put a little bit of um, sensitivity into some lines. Mm. Challenges about showing my artwork to the public uh, make me think more so of harking back once again to when myself and my husband had a gallery associated with our workshops in Mackay. So that's more, that relates really directly to selling your own work, which is for most of us is a very difficult thing. Um, and then on the other level of if I'm asked to to show work somewhere, place it somewhere for sale. To my mind, I guess my biggest challenge is to make sure that I, I really give them the best work that I have. So yeah, uh, I'm super critical about what I do, but I want to be really happy with what I put out there and if people don't like it, well, it doesn't matter. It's about me. Uh, look, honestly, I think you've got to be, um, You've got to be able to, to, you can't be precious about it, you know. In, in, in essence, at times it's a product, particularly with ceramics. Um, but yes, it's beautiful when you get people that really love what you do. And in retrospect, I'm, I'm always amazed. I'm always very gratified when somebody purchases something that I've had something to do with and they love it. You couldn't ask for more than that, really. Oh, really, I think it's all about, for me, it's just about honing a craft all the time, you know, um, which I still go on doing, sometimes trying to not make you want the work to really more or less be seen as your signature. So it has to be a true reflection of yourself, just being honest. I must admit this has been, having an exhibition at Perth Tucker um, was something I would never have expected to happen um, and having been invited by Lucy Bell as curator here at Perth Tucker, um, at first I was, yes, very, very um, embarrassed and then I thought, oh no, I've got to be really grateful that this has happened to me. And I am, it's a wonderful opportunity and it's, um, I, I'm very happy with, with the whole process. Particularly a lovely little um, catalogue that's been done up for me. The beautiful banners outside. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something I'll always remember and, and is, I am very happy that it's happened to me. So I'd, I'd, it would be lovely if everybody came in and had a look at not only my work but everybody else's because there's some really wonderful work in here.